Good day everyone. We are the group 1 and we are here to present about our quantitative research entitled Cigarette Butts as an Alternative Growing Medium for Hydroponic Plants. Together with Tony Ross Elliott, Justin Tabisara, I am Nino Marie B. Sebrano, and we are your researchers for this study. Today, we will tackle about first the purpose of the study, second are the statements of the problems, third is the data presentation. Here are the purpose of the study. The purpose of the study are to know if the cigarette butt will become an effective alternative growing medium for hydroponic plants and to know if there is a relationship between the growth of hydroponic plants and the level or amount of cigarette butt on it. Next one is the statement of the problem. Number one is what is the measurement of the growth of the hydroponic plants after 5 days and 10 days? The number 2. What is the average measurement of the growth of the hydroponic plant using an inch thick of the cigarette butts and 2 inch thick of the cigarette butts? And the number 3. What is the average growth using cigarette butts as an alternative growing medium after 10 days of these hydroponic plants? Mongo seeds and the lettuce seed. The number four, is there a significant rela relationship between the level of the growing medium to the group of the hydroponic plants? Let's move on to the sets of the study. The, set, this, the sets of the study contain four sets. The set A, set B, set C, and set D. The set A contains lettuce seed with an instinct of cigarettes, but the set B contains lettuce seed with 2 inch thick of cigarette butt. Set C contains mongo seed with an inch, inch thick of cigarette butt. And set D mongo seed with 2 inch thick of cigarette butt. These four are added to create or make a hydroponic rock system. Now, let us move on to the data presentation where we will answer the said statements of the problems earlier. Here are the measurements of the growth of hydroponic plants after 5 and 10 days to answer the research question number 1. This table, which is the table 1, shows the measurement of the growth of hydroponic plants after 5 days. So we can see that there are 4 sets in this study. Set A and set B has the same seed on it, which is the lettuce seed, and the same as set C and set D, which is the mango seed. The only difference is that set A and set B div has different level or amount of cigarette butt on it, the same as set C and set D, just like what Justin said earlier. So set A has a measurement of 18 millimeters, set B 19.5 millimeters, set C 76 millimeters, and set D has the measurement of 83.5 millimeters. In this table, table 2 shows the measurement of the growth of hydroponic plants after 10 days. So just like what the table is like earlier, it has four sets. Set A and set B has the same seed, of course, and the same as set C, but only differs on the level or amount of cigarette butt on it. So, the measurement of the growth are in the units of millimeters. From the data gathered from set A, the measurement is 38.5. Set B has the measurement of 41. Set C has the measurement of 155. And set D has 163 millimeters of measurement. Now, to answer the research question number two is the measurement to the growth of the hydroponic plant using different level amount of the cigarette pad. Table three, table three shows the growth of the hydroponic plant with, with an inch level of amount of the cigarette bud. 
On the last row, the average group was then computed by, by just adding the measurement from day 1 to 10, then divide it by the 10 or the total number of days. Set A contains lettuce seed then the in-shape level of the cigarette pack. In the table, detail then true through measurement of the growth of the hydroponic plant from day 1 up to day 10 is listed in the bottom part the computed mean was indicated using formula of the means and group data which is mean equals the, the summation x over n. The researchers get the average value of growth set A which is the 22.15 and the set C contains mongo seed with an inch level of the cigarette butt from day 1 to 10, the development of the group in this plant was recorded. By using the formula, it's the same from the set A, which is mean e equals to the summation of x over n. The researchers get the average growth value of the group in the set C, which is the 80.3. Table 4 shows... Table shows the development hydroponic plants sets B and D. On the last row, the average of group of the plants was calculated. This con this sets contains two inches of the cigarette butt as a growing medium. Let two see this as seed planted in the set B which two inch cigarette butt. Every day, the researchers recorded the measurement of the group of each set to be able to get the average group of of the hydroponic plant in set B, the researchers use this formula. It's the same of the set A and set B, which is the mean equals to the summation of X over N. And the, got the, is the set B is 23.9. And the set D contains of, of the mongo seed with a two inch high of cigarette butt as the growing medium. On the last row of the list, the average group was calculated with the same of the formula. This the gut is 90.55. In the graph presented, the blue bars are the sets which contains lettuce seed, while the orange bars are the set that contains mongo seed. The first set of the bars are, are sets that have one, one inch eye of the cigarette butt. In the second set of bars are set that have two inch high of the cigarette butt. The graph clearly shows that the bars on the second set of the bars are higher than the first. To answer the research question number three, here average growth of hydroponic, hydroponic plants based on the seed year. Table five, average measurement of growth hydroponic plants using that seed. Table, table five shows the list of the growth of lettuce seed from set A and B for 10 consecutive days. Each set contains different level of cigarette butt. Set A contains 1 inch high of cigarette butt while set B contains 2 inch high of cigarette butt. The last row shows the average growth of these plants from set A to B. The, the researchers use the formula for getting the mean of an of data which is summation is mean is equal to the summation of x over n in order to get the average growth of the both sets. Table 6, average measurement of the growth of hydroponic plants using mongo seed. Table 6 shows the list of the growth of mongo seeds from set C and D for 10 consecutive days. Each set contains different level of cigarette but Set C contains 1 inch high of cigarette butt, while set D contains 2 inch high of cigarette butt. The last row shows the average growth of this plant from set C up to set B. The researchers use the formula mean is equal to summation of X over N. The formula for getting the mean of group data which is mean is equal to summation of X over N in order to get the average growth of both sets. To answer the research question number four, here is if the, there is a significant relationship between the level or amount of cigarette butt and the growth of hydroponic plant. So to get the significant relationship, we use the Pearson correlation coefficient. So 
here we can in the table we can see the mean of the growth of the hydroponic plants in one inch high of of cigarette butt on both mongo and lettuce seed. This measurement is after 10 days and also in the 2 inch high of cigarette butt. So using the Pearson correlation coefficient, we got the answer of 0 0.99 on the mongo seed which interprets to a very strong positive correlation, the same as on the lettuce seed. We got 0 0.99 or almost 1. It only means that there is a very strong positive correlation on the, lettuce, on the lettuce seed as well. It only means that there is a very positive, there is a very strong positive correlation between the level or amount of cigarette butt and the growth of hydroponic plants. It only means that the higher the level of cigarette butt is, the higher the growth of hydroponic plants will be. Thank you again. We are the group one together with Tony Ross Elliott, Justin Tabisaura. I am Nina Marie B. Sebrano. And thank you for listening. Thank you.